A very good day to all our viewers and thank you for tuning in to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. We are thrilled to have you here and if you are keen to expand your knowledge by accessing our free news, please don't forget to subscribe. Your support is deeply appreciated by all of us at Polymer Update. Let us begin. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me Elena Sanchez. It is Wednesday, May 17. Let's start with energy news. Crude oil prices declined on Tuesday owing to a rise in crude oil inventories in the United States. The fall in prices was also triggered by a strengthening U.S. dollar. Brent crude prices fell by 32 cents, settling at $74.91 per barrel. While WTI futures decreased by 25 cents, settling at $70.86 per barrel. On Tuesday, open spec naphtha prices edged higher by $1 per metric ton at the $582 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Are you looking to enhance your knowledge of polymer materials and their use in the automotive industry? Look no further. Polymer Update Academy and MIT Aurangabad have partnered to bring you a joint certification program, featuring a masterclass workshop on polymers in automotive applications, led by Professor Prashant Gupta, a distinguished polymer technologist. Throughout this workshop, you'll learn about the mechanical, thermal, and chemical properties of polymer materials, their synthesis and properties, and their use in various automotive applications. You'll also have the opportunity to gain a joint certification from Polymer Update Academy and MIT Aurangabad, which will enhance your career prospects and validate your expertise in this field. Don't miss this chance to expand your knowledge and earn a valuable certification. For additional information, please check the details in the description box. In Linear Low Density Polyethylene this week, LLDP prices dropped in the Asian region mainly on account of lower import offers from overseas suppliers, coupled with a tepid buying sentiment. A week-on-week -week drop in upstream energy values and a fall in LLDP futures further pressured prices lower in the region. In India, LLDP prices were assessed at the $1,020 to $1,060 per metric ton CFR levels, a drop of $10 per metric ton from the previous week. In Southeast Asia, LLDP prices were assessed at the $980 to $1,020 per metric ton CFR levels, down $20 per metric ton from the previous week. Before we move on to the Asian market updates for polypropylene, polyethylene, and polyvinyl chloride, please click on the bell icon to subscribe to our free news channel and if you like today's video, please remember to like this video by giving us a thumbs up. It motivates us to continue to bring you this free informative news service on a daily basis. Back to the Asian market updates for polypropylene, polyethylene, and polyvinyl chloride. In polypropylene. This week, PP prices declined in Asia. The price fall in China was led by a sluggish market undertone and lower PP futures. Downstream converters were reportedly making purchases, with spot trade in the domestic market remaining sluggish. Import prices were pressured lower owing to waning buyer appetite and reduced prices in the domestic market. Weak demand sentiments prompted by a tepid Chinese market and declining feedstock prices contributed to an overall bearish market outlook. Buyers were heard to have adopted a cautious approach as they were not burdened with excess inventory. Producers in South Asia were wary of current market sentiments owing to weak macroeconomic fundamentals. In polyethylene. This week, HDPE and LDPE prices declined in Asia. The downfall in prices in China was prompted by a decline in crude oil and LLDPE futures. China's PE consumption in quarter 1 of 2023 recorded a fall owing to a decline in exports of finished goods. The fall in export orders from Western countries is the result of a continuing banking crisis in the U.S. and persistently rising interest rates in the country, prompting a diversion in export cargoes to Asian countries. PE prices in Southeast Asia, with a few producers inclined to conclude deals at discounted rates for June shipment cargoes. A few producers were heard to have adopted a cautious approach as they were not burdened with inventory pressure. In polyvinyl chloride. This week, PVC prices witnessed a fall in Asia. 
The pricing undertone was bearish in China owing to a decline in PVC futures and a tepid demand undertone. Downstream converters have already restocked their inventories and have adopted a wait-and-watch stance while making further purchase decisions. A weak demand sentiment prevailed in India ahead of the upcoming monsoon season as market players displayed a lack of interest in restocking cargoes. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me Elena Sanchez, from Polymer Update Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.